Hello and welcome to part two. This is uh, quite a bit delayed part two because school started and other stuff, but I'll save that for another time. So, heading into chapter two. There is a small village on the border of Frey and Burn. Here it was where Roy was to meet the mercenary band that Elliwood hand hired for him. Wow, I'm good at this reading stuff. Just east of the village is a small castle occupied by Burns' forces. When Roy had reached the village, the castle was in a chaotic state. Roy had yet to learn that the confusion going on in the castle was going to cause turbulence all over Elie. Chapter 2, The Prince of Bur- Oh, that's Princess. Princess of Burn. Sick Burns, dude. Sick Burns. What, I, what I'm asking is where the princess is. Y y yes, Captain Milady. I'm certain she was in here, in her room this morning. I've already heard that. What I want to know is where the princess is at this moment. <laughs> um, she's... Uh, we're almost going into head-on war with Lycia. What if something happens to the princess? Can you take responsibility? God, why make everybody sound like some, like, dumb, like... Uh, 70s mobster is like, yeah, say, yeah, I never should have let a go highness go down to the border, yeah, say, yeah, where's the money, hmm. It sounds like a really bad old, old school cartoon villain. <laughs> In the first place, I will return to Burn and inform the king about his matter. I'll try not to make it into a panic, so you must find the princess as soon as possible. Yes, ma'am. Is the Princess Guinevere with us? Yes, sir. She's under constant monitoring in the basement room. Good. Don't let her escape. Yes, sir. Are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. Yeah, see? Burn has plenty of enemies. The younger sister of King Zephyr will be sure to get a hefty amount of money by turning her into one. On their foes. Ha ha. Yeah. Ellipses. We're not going to make it anywhere by serving our country anyway. So we're better off thinking of ways to make money fast, no? Yes, of course, sir. But there's one little problem with that plan. What? What do you mean? I've just received a point. It seems that Princess Guinevere's servant has escaped. What? You fool. Why didn't you say so earlier? Go search for her immediately. Don't let her get away. Yeah. And random red, random blood search party. Master Roy, it's around here somewhere. This is where we're supposed to meet the mercenary band. Yes, though it seems they aren't here yet. Oh wait, I can see somebody running this way. Saunter. Watch out! Ooh. God, hey, this is 2017. We're not respecting women at all. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I was in a hurry. <laughs> you better be in a hurry. Better hurry up out my way. No, it's alright. I'm fine, but are you okay? Never mind. 2017, we're respecting women out here. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. It's good that you're not hurt. You are from Lycia, are you not? Yes, I am the son of Marcus of Foray. Oh, dear God, I thank you for your guidance. Please, could you help me rescue my mistress? Oh, she's a lesbian. What happened? My mistress and I were traveling to meet someone from the Lycia Alliance. However, while we were passing through here, we fell into a... It's a trap! Set by a rude. The lord of the castle just sees here. Yeah, dude's got no manners. We were captured. Master Roy, we must not get in unnecessary entanglements with Burn now. Alright, you know what? He's, he's not respectable in 2017. But we can't neglect a person who has to come to meet someone from the Alliance. But it isn't smart to charge into enemy fields either. Exclamation mark! There they are. Hey guys, over here, get the servant girl. It doesn't matter whether she's dead or alive. <laughs> oh no! Well, Marlinus, they attacked first. We have to fight, don't we? Don't pay heed of me now, will you? I guess I could be witness to how much you have learned in Ostia. Alright, we're going to charge the castle. Miss Ellen, you can hide someplace safe. No, I will accompany you. I cannot fight, but I can heal wound at wounded allies. Oh, but I'm the one that got you tangled up in this mess. Please let me be of some help. Okay, but please don't strain yourself. Yes, thank you for your consideration. 
Yay! All right. Oh god, it's. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure you got bench. Pretty sure you. Yeah, yeah. You you got the bench. Your bench. We use Marcus because why wouldn't we use Marcus? Um. All right. So I'll talk about Ellen. So Ellen's. Ellen's not a bad unit. She's got. Okay, for in this game, magic reigns supreme. So even her having like one magic stat is not awfully terrible. It's still pretty good. <laughs> But uh, she's not bad. She has a good luck growth. Her speed's all right. Her speed growth isn't the best. But she's got a pretty, pretty decent magic growth. So I guess suppose we'll use her. Uh, Lance, you, you, you guys are banned. You guys can, can hit the bandwagon. There you go. Just ban all your items. There you go. Bandwagon. And bandwagon. Ban, 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 ban. You don't get anything. You want something? You, you got to earn it. And you, you didn't earn anything, my dude. All in storage. Thank you, Merlinus. Thank you very much. I'm going to send Merlinus up here to uh, get to the village, and he can capture himself. It doesn't really need help with that. If I recall, yes, we're doing the Walt. I don't know. I really like Walt. Everybody talks mad trash about Walt and says he's horrible just because he's an archer class. But I like Walt. I like Walt, so I like using him. So we're going to use Helen, Boris, and Marcus. This is going to be our party. And we will meet up with a mercenary group that will spawn right around this area. I have not exactly decided uh, which of them I'm going to use. I'll, I, I'm, there will be a Pegasus Knight there. I'm not going to use the Pegasus Knight because uh, it has a, that has its own consequences later on that I do not want to deal with. Just because that it, it coincides with a series of chapters that are absolutely awful. And so we're not going to do that. So anyways... We're gonna move Boris up so he can run up there and tank the front line like a champion. And you miss a well, he's, oh my god, that's just insult to injury. I hate it when I miss a 79, and then I come around and then they hit me with a 62. It's just lovely. It's all, all, all fair, right? It's totally fair. So maybe sort another again. We will have you attack him. I'm so hoping to God my Roy does not get terrible stat level ups. Three cheers to having a decent Roy. Mm, yeah, we'll pick you off. Less damage better. It's always good to reduce numbers. That way they get less turns and less moves. He got defense. He got defense. There's a bright side. He at least got defense. I'm really wanting Walt to get speed and strength. Those are the two things I need. I don't ask for anything else, just speed and strength. That's all I want. I'm not asking for much. If I remember correctly, he has a 40% chance to gain a strength stat. But that's. Uh, it, it never turns out that way. Marcus coming in and doing Marcus things. Marcus is. People, I don't know, people give Marcus a lot of crap in this game, but he's actually a really good unit. I mean, he's a Jagan, he's already pre-promoted, he's got pretty good bases. Now, say, if I trained up the, any, you know, two of the other Cavaliers, they probably, they could turn out better depending on their stats, just because they have the extra, like, 20 levels, if I use all of them to grow him, they would be better. But, uh, I don't want to use them, because they, they always usually turn out really well, one's usually speed... And one's usually fast and uh, you know offensive. The other one's usually a little slower and slightly more uh, defensive. But they both usually turn out to be pretty well. So this is Deke. Here's some more Thanny. Could you go and check to see if the foray army is around here? Sure. So we're not using her because we don't want to deal with the chapter nonsense. Deke, who's our client this time? The foray family, one of the nobles of Lycia. The Marcus the Sun is going to be joining the Lycia Alliance. So we're going up against Burn. That's what it looks like. A worthy opponent, time to show some skill, eh? Burn. This one's going to be tough. Better be careful. <laughs> I think I found them, but it looks like they are fighting somebody down there. What? A battle's already started? <sighs> <sighs> Excuse me. Better hurry. <laughs> Alright, instantly, uh, uh. Let's get, this, let's get this over with. You benched. Uh, you can hit the you can hit the you can hit the bandwagon. You're you're banned. You hand all of your items and just 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 go to nothing over there. Hmm. 
and we need to join a force with them. Not that they need it. This guy, this guy is absolutely amazing. See, he's level five. He has great bases, ten speed. Let's, let's, let's take a look at Marx's speed. Eleven speed, and Deke already has ten. So, just uh, if that's any indication about how ridiculous this unit is, he's way too good. And if if you ever want to use him in like any like playthrough of this game, he always turns out extremely well no matter what. It's it's impossible to have a bad Deke. I'm very convinced of that. So we will have you take care of him, even though you can't because you need one more point of strength. And we will have you finish him off because you guys are best friends. Wolf, please. I can just tell. I can, I can already tell you right now. He's 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 gonna be a giant curse on me. Wait, right, Marcus, just just come clean up. Even though I don't really want to hand you all this extra XP that you're not gonna use, cause you're gonna get like what three, two. I think that was two. Two lovely XP. At least Boris is gonna get some XP. Hopefully Boris gets some nice levels and turns into a wonderful general. He, I want to level some speed. He's gonna need speed pretty bad. Especially for the later game to deal with magic uses and not get absolutely destroyed with them. So, simple enough, we're just gonna... <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're gonna throw a lot and wait on the forts because I want them to get as much XP as possible. D can get XP basically whenever he wants because he really does not need XP or levels to be good. You can use D whenever you want and he'll still do really good. So we're just gonna have him chill for right now. We need to feed a lot and wait lots of XP. They're generally pretty bad units because of they have low grows. One has good bases and lower grows. The other one has low bases and slightly better grows. Doesn't really help out their situation much, but hopefully we can get some good RNGs and then pray to the gods and they'll give us some good luck. So this village is going to give us a armor slayer, which is not quintessential to read this chapter. If you use Marcus, you don't need it. Or you can give Roy or somebody else that has the the, the, the weapon rank to wield the iron blade. Not the iron blade. The armor slayer, and they can basically take care of the boss a lot easier. Still gonna be hard to hit because he's on a throne, sorry, throne a gate, which gives lots of a void, and the weapon triangle is in. But regardless, it should get the job done. <laughs> oh, Ward. His name's supposed to be Wade. It's it's Wade. I believe it's Wade in the American version, and then uh, it, well, sorry, it's Wade in the Japanese version. And it's Ward in the American version. Uh, translation patches have different names for them, which is kind of interesting. They have cool names, like Boars is Balls, which is Balls is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Balls is so much better. So we can basically wall off every single one of their troops and not have to worry about a single thing. And uh, they should be able to take care of it with the uh, help of the forts. So we're going to get lots situated on this fort, and then we'll just keep hacking away at them, slowly but surely. And we're going to attack, hopefully don't miss, it's a 65, thank you. Fingers crossed. Okay, that's not awful. That's not absolutely terrible. I can work with that. And try to get Walt as much XP as humanly possible. Because I, I, want, I want to get levels so he can grow faster than everybody else. That way he will stay relevant even if he ends up being complete trash. So fingers crossed on that one. And we'll give it to Roy. Because Roy's our boy. And we will heal him up just to get some free XP for her. Okay. 
and we're gonna get on with level so we're just basically gonna turtle this one out let them come hit our walls beat on our big old chests and dodge and ooh, a crit ooh, two percent crit that's nice yeah that's kind of bad i could i could get technically more xp since he doesn't double but either way it's fine it's still gonna be uh, some decent xp for weight and lot I don't know. I can't tell. I don't. I can't decide if I like Ward or Wade better. They're both pretty cool names, but I think I like. I don't know. Ward. Ward's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Ward is kind of a cool name. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna have Merlin's move down here so I can give Roy a sword. He'll catch up eventually. Not really worried about Roy running out of uh, Raper uses. <laughs> Raper isn't too all important. I mean, it's helpful. It's gonna be helpful in a coming map in, in about two chapters, I believe. Two or three chapters. I want to say three chapters. I don't exactly remember how many there are until that chapter happens, but about two or three chapters, it'll be pretty useful. So this archer stupidly walked right into melee range. Congratulations. <laughs> so free hits, free XP, we'll take this. And we can have Lot to go ahead and throw an axe and pick up a free kill. <laughs> See, Watt has, uh, Watt. Lot has nice, uh, has a decent speed base for this part of the game, and so he'll be able to pick off these soldiers pretty easily. Nothing too much to worry about. And we're just going to move Marcus up, keep him out of range, don't want to distract anybody, and we'll just end the turn right there. And just a, just a little bit of chip. Like I said, this isn't too difficult. You just you can just throw the Watt, uh, Watt, Lot or Wade or Ward, whichever name you want to use, onto the force, and then it's just easy peasy lemon squeezy. You can just sit them there. There's no real threat, especially since this is the first run through, since this is a clean ROM. So there's so we're playing on normal difficulty by default. No choice in the matter at all. So this 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 run through of the game shouldn't shouldn't give me any difficulty and somehow I unless I somehow magically just get screwed incredibly harshly by gross which is it's impossible there's no way that would happen so we're gonna move him up you get to attack the archer and like in the first episode I talked about uh, supports I'm going to be giving uh, Wade and Lot a support together because they support really well together and just having these guys next to each other the whole time fighting it's going to be really great plus they have a really fast support so it shouldn't take too long to build it all plus uh, the Wade and Lot support and the Walt and Roy support are the supports I'm going to be focusing on I'm going to be using all three of these guys I want to have Deke just because <laughs> just so I can have something to fall back on just to make life a little easier especially alongside Marcus so I'm basically going to be using the rest of this chapter to feed uh, Wade and Lot as much XP as possible because I want them to grow up nice and strong and praying, absolutely praying they get uh, good growth. Because <laughs> the better the growth, the more fun it's going to be It's gonna be to use these guys. <laughs> and Deke takes some damage and strikes it off, no big deal. <laughs> and you guys move forward some more and get that support going. <laughs> And move you forward, and Boris is lagging behind thanks to the awful forward movement they gave him. And we will attack with Ward. And do oh, thank you. The dodge. The dodge! And please hit. Finish him off. Okay, cool. Awesome. And let's see how Lot's level goes. Fingers crossed, please. <sighs> okay, he got speed. That's I'm I'm not complaining. He got speed. That's it's not terrible. Been nice, been nice to get early stats, but he just he got speed. That's that's fine. It, it could have been worse. Okay, he's gonna get doubled right. No, no, he's got an iron blade. He's good. He's good. Okay, I'm not going to have a lot of Wade fight that guy, because that guy's actually pretty scary for them. Especially since he's wielding an Iron Blade, which is devastating. Does a lot of damage, but it's also pretty heavy, so it weighs him down pretty badly. And move these up some more. 
And move you up. You can heal. Get some more nice staff rank and EXP going. Alright, Merlonis is slowly catching up. And Boris is slowly going to engage in combat eventually. And we'll Deke just take this guy out. No problem at all. And dodge. Okay, no dodge. So, like I said, Deke is a ridiculously amazing unit. He's one of the units that the game just gives you and says, Hey, here's a, hey, here's a, here's a free get out of jail card. Use them when you like. And we'll get this last skill to ward. So close. So close. Hopefully, uh, I really hope his next level up turns out a little bit better. And we'll move you up for some good supports. And we'll then turn there. And keep moving you up. So ye old axe. And move you up, and please don't miss. Okay, next one. So, Ward and Lot are gonna be some mad beefy units. So they they already have really high health pools, plus they're gonna continue to grow health. <laughs> okay, health and strength, a, a typical level up for for Ward. Excellent. Now I just need the other stats. This could absolutely turn out completely dangerous and have them have the utmost awful worst stats possible. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. This is some free XP for Ellen. And then you can run in, no, you run it in, and you attack. Oh, and one thing the developers did do that I didn't mention that they uh, did to make this chapter easier, they gave a ward a hammer. Hammers are going to be, okay, the thing is, hammers are good, they're good against armor units, right? But then, they give you a 45 hit in this game, like, developers have had, uh, like, I don't know, they, they, they've had, they've, they've had rough times for axes for, like, the longest time until maybe, I want to say maybe FE8, and then that, you know, easy axes got slightly easier, they buffed the hit rates, and they could actually hit things with axes. Which I'd say axes has never been terrible, it's just it's just they were put at a slight disadvantage there. Things just are not gonna turn out well for them. So I will give this kill I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Wolt. Because archers are bad on the enemy phase because they can't return direct attacks. And so you'd have to bait out a situation either if they're against archers or set them at the, the max range of someone with a range of weapon to bait the computer into attacking, which is not super duper easy to do you won't always run into that scenario and so now I'm just gonna spend two turns healing these guys up I'm gonna send them to take on the boss that way they can get the nice juicy XP we can give Marcus XP later on he doesn't need the XP right now it's just gonna be a waste if he goes with him since he's only gonna be getting about two three XP the boss will give good XP but everybody else is just gonna be a complete and other waste to him and there you go, Master Roy. You can get some stuff out of storage. You can take a sword. That's all you're going to get. And Marcus, you're fine down there. And Ellen can finish healing these people off. Get some nice XP going. It's, it's really good to heal whatever little 1 HP wounds that any of your characters might have, just so your staff users can get uh, XP, since there's no really other way for them to earn XP. Unless they're just going to sit them and have take your chance and have them dodge attacks, which is not not smart. It's 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 a slow grind. It's a very slow grind. Okay, and we can send you guys up here now, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we can actually hit with this hammer. Because if not, it's just, it's going to be rough. And we'll just keep building supports by having everybody sit next to each other. And Ellen can heal up Deke. Deke, I mean, I can't remember if it's the Japanese version, if it's actually Deke or just it's still Deke. No, it's, I don't remember. I don't remember what his Japanese name is, but Deke's Deke. 
it's, it's close enough where you can make the own assumption yourself. And you have the hit axe, so you can go there and throw an axe. Yeah. Dom. Just when I thought luck was with me. Ooh, some nice chip. See how, let's see how horrible this hit rate is. Okay, for one, not bad. If we, we get lucky, no. Of course, of, co of course he hits. It's, it's only the natural progression of things, right? And we'll wait here. Rude. Yes, very rude. At least one of them is hitting. I'm actually going to throw Marcus up there. And uh, I'll move up there as well, just to support them. Because I don't want to attack with him again. <gasps> yes, support. Actually, hold on. You can support. You can throw an X. Alright, who's next? Bring it on. Or can you calm down a bit? Eh, what's that? You scared lot? As if. Well then, we're fine, right? I go charging in, and you cover the small parts for me. We've been doing great like that all this time. Well, yeah, but... But what? Mary asked me to take care of you. Sis said that. Jeez, I'm not a kid anymore. I hope you're right. Did you say anything? No, nothing. So yeah, uh, support dialogues uh, give really good background information and really contribute to the story of the game. Uh, so, if you couldn't tell before, these guys are brothers. And they're mercenaries for hire. So, Lot could easily take down the boss by himself, though it would be cool if I could share some of that XP with that hammer hit. And the dodge, good hits from Lot. Lot usually tends to be the better of the two, just because he does have the higher bases, so it can carry him a little bit better. Though Ward, if Ward can just get some speed, I'm not asking for much, anything else, just get some speed. I can, I can live with the other stats, how they are. So, let's see if he hits. Ooh, yes. Okay, cool. Hits. The boss is dead. Ah, uh, greed. Only brings you ill fate. Yeah, hindsight's 2020, my dude. And it's giving us a full level up. Uh, okay, didn't get speed, but we got uh, skill, defense, and strength. So, not bad. And before we end this chapter, we're just going to heal them up a bit. So, we're not have a super fast support. And I believe each chapter you get, I can't remember, it's either 100 or 120 support points that you have to share between the characters you're trying to do. Luckily, later on in, in the future GBA games, they don't do that. You get infinite support points. If you want to support them, just throw them next to each other and you can just grind out turns. But they made supporting a little bit more difficult in this game than they do in the others. So I'm just going to check everybody's health real quick to make sure everybody's at full HP. Okay, cool. So I will have them move up and then have them continually stick by each other. That way they can get some support points going. And slowly but surely. I'm not going to have enough points to share because of how much weight and lot have. But I will eventually get Volt and Roy support going. And I will just end the chapter here. We'll move on to the next one. We'll conquer the gate. Master Roy, we have rescued a lady trapped in the basement. Trapped in a closet. That must be Ellen's mistress. Have her come here. By the way, if anybody's ever actually watched all of those, your legend, I tried. I couldn't do it. There's just way too many of them. He should have stopped them. We have to, like, the one where they get to the diner. It turns out, like, the lesbian's, like, his girlfriend's lover cheater thing. I don't, I don't remember. It was weird. Yes. Your Highness. Ellen, oh, are you alright? I never thought you would do a, 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 such a brave thing for me. You had me worried, Ellen. I wanted to rescue you no matter what, so... It is fine, Ellen. Thanks to you, I am safe now. I am in your debt. May I ask your name? I am Roy, son of Elliot, the Marcus of Foray. Yes, and I am your Highness. Are you sure? It is alright, Ellen. My name is... What if you're bum bum bum? Which big surprise? It's the Princess of Burn, which we're about to find out. She's totally against war. She's all peace, love, and hippie happiness. 
Guinevere, that's improbable. That's impossible. That's... You're not my father. That's the name of the burned princess. Yes, that is who I am. What? Do you plan on attacking us now? Merlinus, wait a second. I beg your pardon, Lord Roy, but I want to speak with her. <laughs> if Master Roy says so. You are indeed Princess Guinevere from Burn. Yes, I am not sure if you believe me. However, even if you are not the Princess of Burn, I can tell from your actions and your dress that you are certainly someone of high uh, social status. But, if you are indeed Princess Guinevere, something doesn't seem right. Ellen told me you are intended to meet someone from the Lycia Alliance. Yes, that is correct. Why, if you are the Princess of Burn, I want to find a peaceful way of ending the war. I figure if I could speak to someone from Lycia, I could find someone some solution. Your brother started this war. Is it in your power to stop it? No, it's no. It's it's not in your power. No. I said I wish to stop it. No, it must be stopped. I see. See how she didn't say yes? She she couldn't stop it. Anyway, you will come with us to meet the Lycia Alliance army. I want to meet Lord Hector and see what he thinks about this matter. Honestly, you will take me? Yes, if there is a possibility to avoid bloodshed in this war, then I believe that we must try it, no matter how small the chance. Thank you. Thank you, truly. And so that concludes chapter two. And then uh, next time we come back, we will have chapter three, which is Late Arrival.